and so yeah. I just want to just like throw it out there. I mean, I've had certain requests for this one oil that I was keeping like a bit, you know, like to the side because I'm not too sure about letting go of it. But I seems like just... you have a lot of oils like that. <laughs> yeah. uh, I mean, see, come on, come clean, come yeah, clean. Yeah, right. remember, <laughs> you, you remember on the mayor? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you sure are. It seems like you forgot about that. Actually. Yeah, no, you're the mayor. Oh, you're okay. the mayor. Okay. to all of you out there and uh, we're excited about this uh, new uh, this new morning show that we started yeah and uh, and it's really nice having being able to share our, our feelings about uh, about the perfumes and the oils and especially our inner feelings uh, and thanks to Sidi Ansar we get My to pleasure. know the process and the, the, the in-depth explanation of how the process of how this stuff comes about and for me especially, it's a great learning experience, so welcome back. Uh, Thank you very much. It's an honor to be here and to, uh, for, to have everyone uh, tuning in with us. And uh, we appreciate all of the feedback. I mean, so far it's been so positive. Everyone is just so happy to see this kind of thing that is being put out there. They just want more and more information. No, I haven't seen the comments yet, but I'll, I'll, I'll have oh, to yeah. take a look and oh, have uh, to. appreciate all the kind people out there. You have to read the comments. I mean, people are very uh, encouraging, which we, which is exactly, I mean, the, the kind of thing we need in order to, I mean, it's like inspirational. Yeah. You want to, when you, you know you've made someone happy, it's like, uh, it's very good, good energy there. Oh, definitely, definitely. Yeah. And, um, uh, you know, I know that I'm sure that our audience are all of the high moral standard and they, you know, they... No doubt. Are, no so, doubt, so, no doubt. No and, doubt. And high appreciation, obviously, of, yes. of nature in general. Yes. And uh, so it's my, it's my honor, actually, to be here and yes. be able to share so, this stuff with them. So, so I just want to just like throw it out there. I mean, I've had certain requests for this one oil that I was keeping like a bit, you know, like to the side because I'm not too sure about letting go of it. But I seems like just... you have a lot of oils like that. <laughs> yeah. uh, I mean, see, come on, come clean, come yeah, clean. Yeah, right. remember, you, you remember on the mayor? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you sure are. It seems like you forgot about that. Actually. Yeah, no, you're the mayor. Oh, you're okay. the mayor. Okay. Uh, yeah, the mayor. You know, you know, it's fun being the mayor. Right? And how to please the mayor better? This is I, I was actually this was my starting point. Like how to join between these two things. It's like how to please the mayor and the audience. Well, this oil that they're all inquiring about happens to be the mayor's favorite origin for agarwood. It's like from Borneo. Oh, so, oh no, no. <laughs> now you just, oh, I feel like I've been stabbed in my heart now. <laughs> but I can't wait to be healed. Yeah, <laughs> yeah no, the, the, trust me, the cure is coming. Okay. And it's in the form yeah, well. of a swipe of this oil that I got to tell you, it's like... Uh, this was almost like uh, insane what we did like we bought like several hundred kilograms of wood from this collector it was the first time i tried anything like this what i was doing until this point and if i may i'll, I'll just uh, give you a swipe of that okay. what i was doing until this point is to just uh, go look for new harvests and uh, are you still with me yes i haven't uh, lost you yet have i uh, well a little bit i'm sorry but okay so I mean, we were just getting these fresh harvests and distilling, but you know, as the harvest became less and less and lower and lower quality, I was like, well, what do we do now? How do we keep the, how do we maintain the caliber? So I had to go to my old colleagues in the field and buy all of their collections out, like whatever they had. And I was like, I had no choice but to pay whatever they were asking. Mm. It's like, okay, he's a collector. He's had it for 20 years, 15 years. 30 years in his collection, I can't bargain with him. It's mm. like, well, you're the one who's asking me, right? You want me to give you my collection of, I mean, this is my life. I mean, to, to him, it's like a, like a treasure, you know, it's, it gives meaning to him, to his life, whatever he's lived. So he said, this person, he said, uh, you know, this is going to be very costly mm. if you want. I said, well, what can I do? And I, I consulted with uh, Kruger, you know, and uh, he was like, well, let's just do it. Yeah. Let's just do it. I said, he said, let's just go for it. We went for it, and what we got is like 
there was this oil back in 2005 called the Borneo diesel, right? It was like this diesel, I, you know about, I mean, you used to drive diesel before. Right? Yes, I did. That's, that's true. You know, it's like it had this, <laughs> like, like this fuming, this uh, gassy, this uh, like a turpentine, almost a kerosene kind of tones to it. Okay. And I was crazy about that oil. Mm. I was crazy. So you I were actually, held hostage by your feelings and your yeah, my nostalgia and, and you know, stuff. like uh, the, the I, I was because I didn't keep anything. I wow. sold everything that I had of it, and actually, it wasn't sold as Borneo diesel. It was sold as Borneo four thousand. Oh, so that's you, the famous Borneo yeah, four thousand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So did you? I mean, did you try uh, that? Yes, I did, and it's everything that you say and more. But it's it is very. You know, I mean. I don't know how to explain it actually. Let me let me just see like if I could just throw these like what I get out there and see if you can like modify some of my perceptions or add to I mean personally what I get is like raspberries drenched in kerosene in like uh, in this super super woody honeyed heart which is it just radiates this powderiness that's almost like it's like this musk was transmuted into into Aquilaria powder, and it's like pollen. It's like pollen. There's like this polleny powder to it, and I can smell like honey very clearly. But this, not just like this worldly. It's like like this extraterrestrial kind of honey. Like as if like it's like directly. There's a portal. You know, like you know how uh, like these opioids they bind to the brain. There's like a special receptor. Yeah. I pers my theory is that there's like a special receptor in the soul for agarwood because it's like you meet you smell it and you're like you go beyond it's like it uh, well it does uh, i mean the i don't know about the the raspberry part of it but i do feel i see the the honey you, you see know, the that, honey that, yes I, I, right. I can smell that and the 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 like a little but diesel if i ever had diesel like this though it would be it would have been great driving a truck or <laughs> diesel like this i mean keep, it's, yeah it's a little bit of but it's not obviously it's not a heavy I mean, it's not going to be diesel like you know, like the the toxic diesel. Of course not. Of course not. That no. I walk with my hand like this. Of course <laughs> not. No, no, no. That's I'm saying. But this is. But I do see the 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 honey. You know, it's like the milky honey and nice. It looks very nice in the hand. And I heard that. Heard that if you wipe it like this, don't no. you got to dab it a little yeah, bit. You got to dab you gotta it. Dab it yeah, a not bit. not not to wipe it. Not wipe. I mean, I, you can also wipe it. I mean, but you, you just I have to spread it. The friction may may affect the uh, the smell. Is that is that true? I don't I, I don't buy it. I don't believe you don't buy it that. because I think okay. if you if you if you spread it, then the molecules will be will be released better. Oh, that's so what I, I was that's reading. Mean. I was reading a, a reviewer one time. Uh -huh. I just you know was going through reviews and stuff like that, right. trying to you know get more acquainted information, with acquainted with right. oils. And he was saying that if you put something like this on the desert. Mm -hmm. You won't smell it after a while because of the heat right. you know, and the friction. I don't know about this stuff, obviously, but, you know, because I never walked in the desert with uh, Borneo 4000 on me, so. <laughs> but uh, who knows? I, I don't think, I think this would actually probably lift me over the sand dunes with this. It would, it would be something that would be, uh, you know, uplifting and, and at the same time, like, floating. Right. right? But that's personally, a, I mean, I, I just, if, 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 I, if I didn't dab on it, at least, and, or if sometimes I just rub it, right, mm. I, I don't smell it as much personally. Really? I mean, it's just a, like a neat swipe. It just stays like that, like yeah. a glaze on the skin. Yeah. And well, skin not, to skin, I don't think it's a problem problem. Right? Well, I mean, yeah, dab it yeah. with your skin. Yeah. 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 Maybe some people are concerned about maybe the clothes getting on it. Does it, has it has a different effect if it's on clothes than on skin? Well, on I'm clothes, sure it would, I think yeah. on clothes it lasts a lot longer. A lot longer, but would it have the same, yeah, the same, the, the same... Silage? Uh, yeah, silage. Not silage, no, would it have the same, you know, like, the, would you feel that romantic about it, as you were just saying about the, the honey that's and a, the that's and all that? That's a very good point that you yeah. bring up. You know what, the thing is that uh, these things, I'll tell you something. Imagine if we take, uh, we just get some, some paints, right? If we get, like, some oil color, and we put it on your skin, right? It's going to stay just like a like a blob of paint on your skin, right? Yeah. Synthetic. Let's just imagine this like this like transparent or like this actually this uh, opaque yellow, for example, on the skin, right? You can't see anything through it. That's what the things that are synthetic are like. Mm -hmm. Naturals like the Borneo 4000, and in this case, this oil. We haven't released the name yet. Okay. It's actually white quinoa. 
right? Nah. White kinam. What these things do is that they actually they take on your color. So there's no color. There it, it, it has it has what all it has is this inner potential. Once you marry it to your chemistry, it becomes a reflection of you. Uh -huh. So it's like the same oil now if, if he was to come here and smell it on my hand. Yeah. And then smell, smell it on your totally hand. Different. He would smell something totally different. So it's different. a very personal experience. It becomes it. you. Yeah. It becomes it's like it Or it, you become it. You become it and it becomes you. Uh -huh. It's both. It's both. But it's like almost like a, you know, it's like a, if you take that paint now that I mentioned and then you rub it to a very fine film, mm -hmm. then you can see your skin through it. Yeah. Whereas if you leave it like just like this glaze, it's just yellow and you don't see anything. Yeah. Right? That's true. Whereas this one is completely transparent. Yeah. You can see your skin, figuratively speaking. Yeah. What you can do, you can smell your you can it's a smell of you. Yeah. I was I swiped this brother one time in England with uh, this uh, I had this oil called uh, basic kinam, right? To him on him it smelled like like better than than actual kinam on me. Like I had these like royal kinam and these things they go for like five thousand okay. dollars a bottle. And the way basic kinam smelled on this guy it was like I was like CD, this is, you're so lucky. I mean how how do you get and it was just like projected, like I was walking meters behind him. I get these green wafts of kinam. You remember the kiara we ate? Yeah, right? of course. Yeah. And it's like I was like, how does that? It's just this chemistry interacting yeah. with the chemistry of the oil yeah. and making a compounded synergy mm -hmm. between the two chemistries, mm -hmm. and that is the smell that you give off. Which is why some people, you know, they like to wear certain things because of the way it, it sits with their chemistry, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, we did touch on this before. I think. Yeah. Uh, yeah maybe that. Uh, we did talk about the different smells uh, according to a person's skin, according to their pores, yeah. right? according to how it, in, like you said, it, it integrates yes. into their system. We talked right? about different cuisines. Yeah. Some people cannot eat, you know, like dairy, for example, it's just the way that they're made up. Yeah. Uh, some people cannot eat very spicy foods. Yeah. Well, I, you know, I, I definitely believe in that because it's part of nature, right? And nature is just like that, right? Yeah. It's it's there's a, a cooperation and a, there's a, a give and take in nature and there's nature affects nature, right? So, uh, it's, uh, I'm I'm letting nature affect me. <laughs> okay, thank you. I want I want nature to be affected by nature. So this. Now, when I say kinam, right? I said, what, white kinam, we said, right? That's yeah. the name, because I'm almost like, I don't know where I am right now. Yeah, really, yeah. <laughs> really, it's like... Uh, no, I wish I had this when I was younger. Uh, uh, you can <laughs> tune, you can, you can, you can fine-tune your reaction to these things. The more you train your nose, yeah. and they can just take... Some, some people, the, the effect is so strong, they, they, like, they can't make sense of anything they say after that anymore. It's like they just zone out. It's like... Uh, it's real. I mean, it's like a yeah, I mean, very I, potent. I remember when I put on the uh, Kalimantan, right? When I right. first used that, yeah. that was yeah, definitely a spiritual experience. The Kalimantan, yeah. you're referring to the one from like 15 years ago, right? Yeah, maybe that? 15 years ago. Yeah, yeah. Wow, so yeah. long. it was a long time a long ago. Time. I remember I was when I when I put that on, I w I stopped in my tracks. I was like, this is unbelievable. Yeah, really. Yeah. But. You know, a lot of times when I smell these smells, it's even hard to describe because it's sort of like trying to describe, a, a, you know, a spiritual state, right? Yeah. You know, when you describe it, you lose it, right? <laughs> so this is it like... It goes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it goes. But just to enjoy it. And... Uh, oh, this is, so... So what I'm doing here, and now I'm carving a little bit of this resin from this piece of Borneo Kina. And I'm going to let you smell it, and I want to see how that, how you compare that to two things. One, the Vietnamese kinam that we burnt before, that we, I should say, we heated before. And how do you compare this to the oil that's on your hand? Is this the same as that? No. Okay. This is from a different region. That is pure Malinao. The one, I mean, the one, the oil, the white kinam that's on the skin. Yeah. It's pure Malina. That's the most legendary region in Borneo, full stop. It's like one of the, one of the highest 
ranks of oud that you can get is Malinam. It's like the legends of like Kokong, you know, like uh, Manipur, Malinam. These are like the most prized regions for Agarwal uh -huh. in the respective uh, territories. Like this from Borneo, Malinao is like the Holy Grail. Yeah, I was in Borneo one time. Really? Yeah. Wow. I yeah, didn't I know went, that. Yes, I did a, uh, a Qigong oh, really? uh, uh, yeah, uh, session there. Did you go looking for any trees? Or oh, actually, there was not much time to go looking for trees, but right. uh, I'm sure they were around me somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> but. Uh, What do you think of that? Now the one that we did in the previous session was the Vietnamese. The Vietnamese. Yeah. And this one is the Borneo. Yeah. See this resin is so hard. I can't even like shave any off with a scalpel. Like there's this one black portion here. So you can't you can't carve anything out. Maybe just try that. Feels like I'm walking through a rainforest. Yeah. That's what it feels like. It actually. comes from a rainforest. A born here rainforest. Yeah, yeah. Ah, that's so where maybe that's why it smells like yeah. that. <laughs> But there, there is this like uh, I don't know. Feels like it. It does like a rainforest, like you know the moss that you smell. You yeah. know when you're walking through. Yeah. And uh, yeah. So. Like how how would you like how would you grade the psychoactivity factor on this one? Uh, to say the truth, I'm still affected by the <laughs> by these by the part that we put on that you put on me. Right, a few minutes ago. I mean, I, I'm going to have to apologize to, to, to you and our viewers. I just, I'm just gone right now. I can't, I can't, I can't. Uh, Do you need me to say anything? Uh, yeah, of course. I need you to say something. <laughs> what can I say? You I mean, can just like, say this is just, what you're feeling. Yeah. It's like Zen. It's like silence. Yeah, I, I mean, like I said, when I, even this, oh, that is because it's right up into the, into the crane, cranial. I think this should be, it's right. <laughs> <laughs> this should be like, I don't know, like if we can make sense of this, like this should be controlled, this kind of experience. Yeah. It, it shouldn't be as private. You know, it's like, I don't know if we should share these kind of things with... Well, why not? Because we're trying to be honest. They're going to say, look, he's a moron. He talks like he's like <laughs> high or something. It's like, yeah. No, but then they'll say, hey, he's being himself. He's showing us what the rea his reaction is. And it's from mm -hmm. his deep love and spiritual connection to these... Yeah, to the agar wood and the oils and all that. So I think that's a genuine thing. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, for me, I have no problem doing that. Yeah. Uh, just yeah. bear everything, bear the soul out to the, to the, to our friends, right? Yeah. I mean, maybe you know, they, I'm sure they would like to experience. We, the same I thing. mean, we, the, we. Uh, this is an open invitation. I should thank you for saying that. I wanted to say, like, if any of you guys, if any of you guys want to come here, and try this stuff with Shaky Hab, no. or myself, or both. You know, that, we can, you know, we can have a third chair and we can, I mean, this, this would be great. I mean, this is an open invitation, open invitation. Whoever wants to come here for a session and smell the oils and, 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 uh, and uh, fumigate and try some kinam, you know, tea or eating it straight or whatever. But we should warn them, though, that we're not responsible for their actions after, <laughs> yeah. after they yeah, we did, experience We, we <laughs> assume no responsibility and, and it will be it will documented on the Internet. Yeah, well, that's, uh, yeah, so um, actually it does remind me of sort of like the, the Qigong sessions, right? Because you just start doing... Yeah, it's just, know, this actually... It's uh, free. It's, 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 this is actually bottled up Qi. Uh -huh. The Qi of the tree. Uh -huh. The Qi of the tree is, is, is released when you heat this or when you put it on the skin. It's like you're getting the, I mean, there's definitely energy there. Yeah. There's definitely, that, that's, it's energy and what, what else can it be? Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Wow. It's just wow. nice to have that relationship with nature in this way. There's not many, not many, you know, not many ways in nature that we can have that relationship. I mean, I like, you know, I like, you know, I like horseback riding, I told you. Sure. Right. And the reason why I like it is because it's one of the only sports where there's a relationship between you and nature, the horse, right? Yeah. And there is a relationship there, you yeah. know? I mean, the horse, when you're riding, the horse has his own, you know, his own, uh, 
chi going, right? And of you, course. And you have to, you, you, his chi and your chi or her chi and your chi have to mix together, yeah. right? And uh, so you can both enjoy the experience. I just cut out this big splinter, uh -huh. and this this will this will give off this beautiful, kinamic, like vapor for like at, I think at least two three hours if I put it on here. Okay, but yeah, be we careful because it doesn't affect uh, our cameraman here. Yeah. <laughs> if he falls over and. <laughs> Yeah, this is the best. I, mean, I, I just was saying that uh, that your neighbors must be very grateful to you because when you walk into the, the building, it's oh, believe like, me, they are. You know, <laughs> it's like it's like wow. Yeah. Yeah. Mashallah, mashallah. Oh man, wow, ya Allah subhanallah. No, thank you. Don't don't miss out. Man. Thanks for sharing, man. Yeah. No, it's even more potent, man. I think, you know, like stress relief, you know, like negative thoughts, mm -hmm. negative vibe, even like, you know, like traditionally, like incense is used to like dispel like evil spirits. Mm -hmm. You know, I've so, heard that. Yeah. yeah. So it's like it, it, it literally, it, it dispels like jinn, you know, like devils and these kind of things, mm -hmm. you know, and some people, you know, maybe they don't believe in devils or whatever, but you can feel that the effect is, is palpable and it's like, uh, you know... Well, like I told you, when I first, uh, you know, my first experience when I came to the Middle East, to Egypt, uh -huh. was that when I used to walk into the souks, it was just, you know, scents all over the place and stuff like that. It was really affected me, even when I was walking, I was like, wow, this is yeah. unbelievable. So it's, it's like, it's like transports you. Like yeah, so it's, it's really... Are you ready? <laughs> <laughs> when you say that, uh, which is every time, <laughs> I guess I, I don't have any choice. I mean, you can say no, you can say, CD, I'm, I'm too overwhelmed right now, give me five minutes or give me a minute. Or uh, well, I won't smell it right away, I can put it on and I'll just okay. leave it so, okay. so it can blend into my... Into your skin. Anything. But if you miss that first hit, okay. you know, like the, it's like that's the most therapeutic part. Oh, I it's see. Like, and you feel it. Yeah. You feel it. I mean, they're going to say these guys are a bunch of crackheads. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's all legal. It's all legal. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. It's, Thank not, it's not illegal, any of this. You know? so, this is it's a blessing. It's a, what can you say? That's... Yeah, it's all. It even has more body than this. Than the first one. Yeah, than the first yeah. one. More body. Yeah, a stinging. It's almost a stinging sensation to it. It goes straight to the to the like to your brain. And it's like it's like it's like. Uh, yeah, it's, oh, it's, it's it's nice. I'm gonna put some of this on. Oh my Place god! Place the areas I don't wash. Oh my god! This is... <laughs> yeah, it's wow. nice. So this is also a private batch. It's uh, this is because of my my uh, my nostalgia for the uh, Borneo diesel. I actually went ahead and made another batch of the white kina, but I, I made many tweaks to it, oh. right? And this is we, recently? This is right after the white kina, oh. you know, that was the beginning of 2016. Mm, okay. This is like mid to like, like second, like uh, half of uh, 2016. And this, I actually went and called it Borneo Diesel. So this will be the actual Borneo Diesel if and when it is released. And this is the first time you're you're, you're telling you're sharing this with uh, with anyone. You know, sometimes I forget things. I, okay. I I don't know. It's like maybe some people have tried it. Maybe they'll say, "No, I have it. I don't have it. I don't know." Oh, okay. Don't hold me live. I, can, I uh, forgot. But I can I can <laughs> I, I can honestly say this is the first time that I that you've tried it. Yes. Yes. Yeah. I mean, yes. one one thing that might be a bit confusing is that I first released the Borneo diesel as uh, the white kinam as Borneo diesel. Nice. But then people said that's too, it's too, I mean, don't call it diesel because it's not diesel -y at all, you know. Well, it's As not diesel in the, in the common... Literal sense. Yeah, the common literal sense right. of it, right. But that it, I studied it further, I zoomed in on it, and I saw the powderiness, the facets of like this uh, ethereal, like, kinamic, uh, minty, sharp bite that it has that I think white kinam is a very befitting name for it. Mm -hmm. So I have to agree with my friends who made that recommendation to change the name. 
because I think it was a very, uh, you know, it was very good advice, mm. you know, because then this batch, I think, is more, uh, more befitting to be called uh, Borneo Diesel. Not. But to me now, I get this, like, I get these flowers, like these blue flowers, it's almost like, uh, like, uh, like uh, violets with, uh, you know, with like uh, irises, mm. and it's laced with this, like, blue lotus note. Yeah, when you talk about that, you remind me of the 60s and 70s, you know. The, uh, you had a lot of... Uh, uh, you know, but, uh, that was always, you were always, you know, was the smell, but no smells like this, I'll be honest with you. I can't remember anyway, that's a long time ago, but uh, this is sort of like a rebirth for me. Yeah, this didn't yeah. exist in the 60s. Yeah. Like, Borneo wasn't even like explored as an agrawood destination in the mm. 60s. It only started to become, uh, you know, uh, distilled. The but this, I mean, this is a rebirth of the senses, so to speak, for myself. Oh, yeah. You know, I mean, for you, you've been in the business for... This is a revival. It seems like a revival of, of like, you know, wild... That's why, that's why I have to excuse the, you know, the, the viewers here, our friends, you know, they right. act, act a little bit, you know, like, off-key. <laughs> no, no. And, and I'm not using, you know, more descriptive words because, you know, this is, to me, I'm just, it's a revival. I yeah. need to, to, to build that up again. Yeah. To, able, even be, to, to be able to express those things is, is, is very difficult at this point. I mean, it's pure sense. To sensual. me, personally, I mean, you're an open book, CD. It's like, <laughs> I see your face. It's like, I know what you're feeling. It's yeah, like, that's, that's what my wife says, too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, yeah, I'm, you know, I'm, a, I'm a guy that's, uh, yeah, I'm a, you know, a product of the 60s and 70s, flower power and... No, no, don't and, don't be self-conscious. Yeah. Just go go with whatever you, you know, whatever you feel. Yeah. Whatever you feel, don't let that bother well, you. Well, actually, this is what you know yeah. led me on, on my journey. You know, this you know just letting it go. Yeah. yeah. Letting it go yeah. Yeah. and searching for that which I was letting go. Yeah. <laughs> to yeah, find it. Like, Where is it going? Where is it taking me? Like free form, so free is, form poetry. You know, yeah. just let go with the flow. Like you know, carry. Let the feeling carry you. Like wherever yeah. it does. Well, you know, it's, because. This is a rare, a rare, rare experience. Yeah, you know, to experience tell. these oils yeah. is something that, I mean, I mean, a lot of people have been blessed and privileged to experience them, but it's not something that's like that's fully known by people. Like a lot of people think, you know, they think oud, and what they're smelling is this, uh, like like black agarwood artificial, which is like a javadan product, which is, I think, in ninety percent of the so-called oud. Perfumes. That's like the main ingredient is this black agar with artificial. Mm. Now I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that, but if that's all you know about oud, then it's like uh, you've been a bit shortchanged in your in your appreciation. I mean, there must be as a as a person just experiential right, in this in this in this world of oud and perfumes and that. There must be, there definitely is a difference right, of how it reacts. You know, to a person's skin, and to you know, if you use like this, like you're saying, yeah, ninety percent uh, artificial yeah. root, yeah, and this is coming, you know, right from the usul, from the origin, yeah, right from the tree itself, and yeah. and and the healing of the tree, right, yeah, as we were saying before, I mean, that has to make a big difference in how it affects a person. You know, there's one other difference is that I mean, these trees, unfortunately. Uh, and some people need this information, so I just have to bore you with some technicalities. No, no, no. Learning is, is good. Although it's not going to, don't worry, it's not going to affect my appreciation, my appreciation, and, and how what I what I'm feeling. Some of our viewers, I'll tell you, some of our viewers are very, very advanced. Oh. Like they understand the nitty gritty aspects of distillation. When I talk about certain types of water, certain types of mineral content in the water, when I talk about metals mm -hmm. in the pots. They know exactly what I'm talking about. Wow, yeah. So when we talked about the soak before, yeah. remember how what I said about the soak? Yeah, it's you like, said you don't soak. The soak, the soak is like almost like a, like a veil. It's like a hijab. Yeah. On the resin, on the resin. This resin, the white kinam, and the Borneo diesel, this is uncovered. There's no hijab. You can Unveiled. see it. It's like in the, the veil has been lifted. In the nude, in yeah. the nude, it's like it's like there. For you to appreciate its raw beauty, like like raw, you know why? Because I never soaked it. I never introduced any foreign elements into the into the brew. I mean, I didn't put any chemicals. I didn't put any special salts. 
I've been putting in types of corrosives to make the resin, you know, like kind of go through the roof yeah. kind of thing. Yeah. Because that would actually alter the nature, the pristine nature of this resin. If, if I was, imagine if I cooked it in like, like boric acid or something. Yeah. Yeah. You know, like, or if I cook to some people, they, you know, they cook in lactic acid. Can you believe that? Really? Yeah. No, I didn't in know. Sri Lanka, you know, like they have people, you know, cooking in lactic acid. Mm. India, you got people cooking in like, uh, I don't know what they're putting. I mean, I'm probably behind with what some of these guys are doing. I, I don't even follow that stuff because I have a, a set parameter that I follow, right? Mm -hmm. But this resin has been brought to you like as an amana, as like a sacred trust. That's well, been and untampered that with, untampered and that is, in any is. way. And then, if you smell it on your skin, yeah. it's the same thing. Yeah. No, it's. Uh, I mean, that I think everyone can appreciate that. You know, the people, even the people that aren't maybe inclined to use the, you know, from like you know, the pristine. You know, oud oils and stuff like that. Maybe they can't. Maybe they don't have access to those. No, I mean, uh, I believe. I believe everyone is well intentioned. Yeah, of I course, believe. Of course. I believe that everyone has a, has a, a good and positive point of departure. Mm. The thing is that it's just simple chemistry. Yeah. You know, you soak the wood, you alter it. I don't care if you soak it in a freezer or in the fridge or under blue light or whatever kind of light, this is what I believe, you know, mm. this is my, my, you know, it's like my observation in, mm. in this. If you soak it under any capacity, in any way, you're altering it and that makes me suspect the integrity of the quality of that resin. When you mm. say this is high quality, mm. did you soak it? Mm. I can't, I can't take your word for it anymore. Mm. That's, I that's, that's what I, that's what I follow. You know, and when I soak it, I mean, there are woods that I soak. Why would I do that? Just because of the tradition. It's not, you know, with, you know, like for like any other means other than to preserve, because as you know, like it's like sauerkraut, for example, it's a tradition. I mean, I eat lots of sauerkraut, mm. you know, other people, they drink fermented drinks, right? So, so consuming fermented oud is a type of oud appreciation that's in itself its own thing. And its own tradition. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. But this, this is unsoaked. This is unsoaked. It's virgin, pristine, mm. agar with oil coming to you directly from the tree. Mm. I'm probably talking like a hippie from the 70s. Well, I, no, I'm telling you, it's, it's, it's hitting home with me. Yeah, I'm really, I mean, I apologize. No, no, no. no I, I'm sorry, it's just... No, but I think that you're, you're, yeah, you're letting it out. And, I, and, I, and, I think I've got a bit carried away here. And, and, <laughs> and a lot of people, actually, they're always looking for the pristine... The, the, the pure, right? right. In, in many things, not just uh, oils. And you know, the things. thing is, if, if, we, if we do that, mm -hmm. if we give them pristine, if, if, if 90%, not 99% of what's out there was given in its pristine form, mm -hmm. you would have a reaction like if I gave you like a vinegar or like, a, you know what I mean? Like a, something completely completely mundane, like not something genuinely transportative, mm -hmm. something genuinely metaphysical. To me, this is a metaphysical experience, yeah. you know, that we are experiencing through the senses. It's mm -hmm. this portal, you know, it's like it takes the senses and it just like, it catapults you into another realm. So you're, 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 I just want to make clear to our viewers, you're not criticizing or anything like that when you say about the soaking and all that. I you mean, know, I soak myself. Yeah, so you're I just saying it. Wa alaykum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Masha Allah. 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 Masha All